Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be unlocking the legendary sword, Excalibur. Right, King Arthur's sword, Excalibur. This will not have any spoilers. Spoiler. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it from now on. Spoilers. It won't have any story spoilers. Uh, we are going to be doing completely free roam activities to unlock the Excalibur today. It's going to be one of the best weapons we can get in the game. Uh, there's quite a few strong enemies that we're going to have to defeat in free roam and a few, well, a bunch of collectibles, 11 collectibles in all. These are all going to be puzzle oriented and two of which are going to be um, semi like uh, killing zealots out in free roam. So should be a really good exploration live stream today. And we're going to get a really awesome reward at the end. So I do hope you all enjoy this. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to have to go to the first location first. There's a couple of different places we can go. You don't really have to do this all in order either. Um, but yeah, Excal Excalibur looks like it's going to be absolutely awesome. We're going to go into Grandisburgshire, or I think that's the name of it. I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at the name. Um... Uh, but let's see here. The area that we're going to need to go to to get the first tablet that we're going to get, uh, it's going to be like right around here. So I'm just going to put a point. I guess I'm just going to. Oh, you know what? That probably erased one of my other points that I had saved on the map. That's woefully unfortunate. Well, on that note, I guess I'll put it where we actually need to go, which is like right about here. We should be good to go. Let's grow with these waters. Hey, uh, let's have a song. Big boy is ready. What's going on, Jiro, Paragon, Bungie, Jackie, Gen H? Glad to see you here. Run up the sail. Way to get an Xbox Series X for so long and never managed to get one. Oh, no. All right, you should get a PlayStation anyways. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Completely depends on what exclusives you want, really. Um, so yeah, it's going to take 11 of these special tablets. We're going to put them into a secret location, which will unlock the sword for us. And, um, really excited for this one. Now, the question is, are we going to be powerful enough to kill the zealots? The zealots that we have to kill are kind of high level. You're currently at power level like 67 or something like that. And the zealots we got to kill are in the 160s. Now, I have fully upgraded my gear. And the interesting thing, when you upgrade your gear... It doesn't give you power level. The only thing that gives you power level is your skills, which seems really odd that you're not getting power level for upgrading your equipment. I don't know why that is. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so I feel like our actual power level is closer to the mid... I'd say low hundreds, so we should be okay, hopefully. But we'll find out. I did upgrade my rations, so that'll help out a lot. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is going to be relatively simple. It's just puzzles. And you just got to know where these locations are. Uh, side note, Fall Guys had an update. Rework of maps and added new maps. Nice. A little too little too late. But uh, it's good to hear that they're still updating. <laughs> I'm going to get my butt stomped in. Probably. You're, prob you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, but we will do all of the puzzles and everything throughout this. So, um, yeah, it'll be it'll be good. It's a, it's a live stream, but also a tutorial, which is great. <laughs> and then uh, after this live stream is done, I'll have all the timestamps in the video so everybody can come back to this and actually uh, go right to the timestamps for everything. Keywords are should be OK. Yeah. I thought maybe that was going to be a trap. So there are traps that will pop up in the water when you're going through this, which is pretty nerve wracking. Oh, dude, we're going to go right to the location that we need. But I believe it is right inside of here. This is going to be the first tablet that we acquire. I believe it is right in these ruins. And we can see a mystery popping up on our map now. 
It's just a matter of figuring out exactly where in these ruins it is. I always like that there's like multiple ways into everything. I think it's like right up here. Uh, Georgia G, thank you for the sassy lemon. Thank you very, very much. How are you doing today, you wonderful human? I'm just here for the lovely graphics. There you go. All right, here we go. So when you approach the locations for these, you're going to see this tablet icon. Uh, so we've got the Grimes Graves here. So anytime you approach one of these locations, just keep an eye out for that tablet to pop up. And you'll know you are in the right location. Um, so just so I can pop this up on the map so everybody can see exactly where it is. We are in East Anglia. And we're going into the graves that are right here. Just off the shore. The question is... How are we going to drop down here? I kind of want to get the unicorn ship, just to kind of throw everybody off. Yeah, I had a poll on Twitter, and then I realized I really just needed to keep playing this. I want to play more Among Us, but I got to cover... I got to cover this, because we've got Spider-Man coming out tomorrow night, which we're going to be playing, so... I got to make sure I cover as much of this as I can before Spider-Man comes out. We've got a couple different locations we can go to. We can go left, right, or straight. I'm going to check the left room. I always say go left in any of these games. We got some loot here. Nothing else. One big map. Oh, yeah. The map is just absolutely massive. And this is only one map. There are three so far that we've unlocked. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be even more than that. Uh, so we've also got Asgard. We've got Norway. And we've got all of England. Then we'll have Ireland and Paris at some point in the future as well. And yes, there's a unicorn ship. I was going to buy it for you all and surprise it or surprise everyone with it when we started the stream. But, uh, oh, a pit full of vipers. That's always fun. Nothing like a pit full of vipers. Where's Indiana Jones when you need him? So we do have something to read here. This woman speaks of her child, Grendel. Cruel fate the gods have woven. Ooh, Grendel. So my sweet little Grendel, my eyes see nothing but a helpless tiny thing. Perhaps his form is like no other, but my heart feels immense love, like God's love. I cannot fail him. They say he will not live long. So Grendel is going to be one that we need to fight to unlock Thor's armor. Uh, I do know where those locations are, but I'm not strong enough to fight them yet, I don't think. But it's interesting. I didn't an anticipate finding anything to read about them. And yes, you can unlock Thor's armor as well as Thor's hammer, too. Time to be a snake. It's, it's always snakes, right? Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. My Grendel thrives in the face of so much. Our village, other children, his own body. My love and the grace of God are all he needs. We will move away from the rest. He needs not fear their fearful... Or may not... Needs not fearful looks, their vile taunts, their evil threat. So I think we're going the wrong way for this, uh, this... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Stupid snakes. Grendel's sins are for God alone to judge. My simple boy knows not his own strength. Forgive him, Lord, as he knows not what he does. My duty is to help him thrive, and I shall. I love him, I love him so, my sweet little boy, Grendel. This is getting interesting, to say the least. We've got some crazy spoopy stuff going on down there. And some really creepy noises. Oh man, oh no, this is where we fight Grendel. Oh, I can't fight Grendel right now. <laughs> I don't want to fight Grendel right now. It was an accident. This is this is actually where Grendel is. We want the tablet, not to fight Grendel right now. Man, these mazes, I'll tell you what. You may have had to go a different direction. 
There's just so much. And we probably have to go back the other way. I am just curious. At this point, yeah, let's go back the other way. I didn't expect this just ginormous cavern down here. You want me to fight Grendel at the moment? No, I've got a whole video planned for all of Thor's armor. Um, I don't think we're high enough level to fight Grendel. They <laughs> are... They are insanely OP. I just want to grab all the loot and stuff. Why am I... I'm stuck on this plank. I literally can't move. Oh, there we go. craziness. I don't actually think we can get back from here now. Tablet's in here somewhere, but I think it's back the other way. Unless it is actually down there. But I know if I... I'm pretty sure this is where we fight Grendel. down here. So what I want to do is I want to get back the other way. But I don't think I can actually get back the other way. Unending creepiness and fog. Let me jump over here. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to climb back up. All right, so we'll just keep, we'll keep going through this through this cavern. down here. What is this? My controller is vibrating like crazy here. I don't think we can dig. When I stand on top of this, my controller vibrates like crazy. What is that? It's so weird. Gotta be something, but it's not letting me do anything about it. Hmm. Very strange. Uh, the white hilt of the sword of Ritterark Hale. Alone I rot in my... in inky black. The end of a shadow maze in the hand... of one born well I blaze with boundless flame?
What is this place indeed? Oh, we've got an opal here. <clears throat> Wrong button. I love these However, I didn't I didn't expect just such a massive area in here. And of course we've got a way out. We've gotta go a different way in that tunnel to get the item. Really? Really. was a bit of a maze and we got to go back in we got to go right instead of left if we go right we'll go to the tablet if we go left we'll go to grendel's area and yeah, my controller is still vibrating vibrating like crazy ever since i fell down there i don't know what's going on very strange <laughs> eli nice So once again, I'll show this location for those that are just joining in for the tablet. Now that we know which direction to go, we should be able to just go right through it pretty much. So we are going in East Anglia at the Grimes Caves, or Graves rather. Oh, actually, you know what? We can We can jump right down here. Perfect. The tablet says it's up there. I think that just is referring to the entrance, maybe? So last time we went straight because of the vipers. We'll go this way this time. And nothing down this way. I don't see anything lootable down with the Viper. Maybe... Ah, oh, there it is. Right now, that's just something to... to read. We already read. Another Viper down there. That goes way down, and it looks like there's water down there, too. So if we continue, there's another thing to read. Now I'm curious. If we jump down with the Viper, it looks like that's water down there. It is water. Vipers. I hate him. A friend and I are starting a disco group. We dress as a Viking, a Mongol, and a Caribbean pirate. A raider and a Spanish conquistador. We call ourselves the pillage people. Oh no. Tip and I, thank you for the super chat, you wonderful human. Thank you very much. So this is the letter that we read here. we didn't need and then this letter here which we already read and then that goes down to Grendel's area but we never found a key which is interesting hold on I 
need to look back and see if there was a spot that I missed without having to go. I want to make sure that there isn't something behind me that we may have missed before continuing on. Tablet. I think it's on Grendel's side. I'm not 100% sure. Gotta be in that room, is what I'm thinking. We never got a key? Unless a key fell. It's in Grendel's Grendel. Oh my god. No. <laughs> There's got to be a chest at the end that we just didn't see, is what I'm thinking. And I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yes, yeah, so we got to go across. I believe there was a room that we just missed that was up ahead. At least the music is pretty down here. Yeah, right. I mean, there's got to be a room that we missed here at the end. Yes, you can get Thor's hammer. You can, in fact, get Molnir. You can't really get it until the end. Or unless you just get a very high power level uh, before then. And you would be able to get it. How did we miss that chest right there? How is that possible? Oh. How did we miss this? We were literally right here. We got a, a rune. Some leather. And then there it is. There's the tablet. And we got a skill point for that. Nice. Now, I believe that is... We have already have one of the tablets. That's the Mysterious Hill tablet. I think I accidentally got a tablet when I killed one of the dudes previously. I want to see which one I have. I don't know how I missed that. Wait, no, I don't have a tablet. I got the Roman Artifacts. this game or Miles Morales. You'll get more gameplay out of this game. Um, really depends on what you want, you know? There's already a spider game, Spider-Man game, but is there a Viking game that you, that scratches that itch? All right, next one we're going to go to is going to be south of this down in Essex. And thankfully I already have a fast travel point here. We'll save the battles for closer to the end, I think. The skill points we get along the way will help a lot. Then we need to go over there. Because you missed the jump before? I think that's probably why I missed it. You're right. So a lot of these areas that we're going to be going to are very high level, but as long as you just ignore the people that are there, you shouldn't have a problem just going right through. As long as you just don't try and fight them, you know? And so here's the caves that we needed to go to. Oh, that bird died. So once again, this area on the map is just south of Colchester. I probably mispronounced that in Essex. There's a big cave here. Can't miss it. When you approach it, you're going to see that tablet on your screen. Uh, 
And once again, we got a nice dark, spoopy cave to explore. climbing up here, dude. Stop it. No. Bad Eivor. Ooh. Titanium? No, it's iron ore. Alright, at some point you're going to start needing titanium to upgrade your stuff. I was really hoping for some titanium. Uh, museum, what's going on? I've literally never played this game, but I cannot stop watching you play. Uh, you play this game, it's like extra special CGI like <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you to everybody who's transitioned from all the other games we've been playing to come and watch this. You all are truly amazing. So thank you so much. Is that a pit of death or can we survive if we fall down? Looks like there is... There's something down there to collect. I think it's an opal? Oh no, what is it? I don't think we're gonna die if we jump down. Oh! Something is not right. Yeah, something's not right. I got lit on fire when I jumped down. It was an opal. All right, there's poisonous gas down there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you need those opals, though. Up, Eivor. Up. <laughs> Nothing like some poisonous gas to wake you up. That dude had a bad day. Did he fall from above or something? No. We stole his ball of yarn. Another opal. Nice. These opals aren't on the map either. That's nice. Some super secret squirrel opals. Do appreciate that. Oh, Megan. Yeah, the, the game is, is not very well optimized, so it does take a pretty good PC to actually be able to play it. You never know. What do we got going on in here? Well, I can see the horn of Bran Galad from the north. Here lies a thirsty giant, his mouth in need of a drink. Quench his thirst tenfold to obtain his precious trinkets. Okay. There's a lot of uh, things in here that look not very good. A little bit of a riddle. This looks like an old cellar. Yeah, reeks of stale wine. Are those barrels still full? So I think what we need a to shaft. do. I can see something at the bottom, but it's out of my reach. So what we need to do is empty the barrels, and I'm assuming. What will happen is that will rise up and we'll be able to collect it. Is why all the arrows are here? Oh, Arca just chucked that. I do like that they left us tons of arrow or arrows in this particular area. doing this right we need to do 10 of these one two three i like how they're all just perfectly leaking into there the wine 
has filled the shaft bearing my prize with it. I should be able to reach it now. Nice. Horn. It looks valuable. A good find, I think. Hmm. Okay. There's a chest over here as well. I have a translation for riddle at the giant drunk <laughs> and take his valuables. You're right. I feel like there was more in here. To be had than just that. Ooh. Weapon rune and a bird cage. Nice. Why did the lights go out? Let's check our inventory. Okay. So the, there was a drinking horn on the tablet, which is interesting. When you leave for England, can you come back? Yes. Yes, you can. Well, that's pretty. Nice. All right. Now we got to go to the next location, which is going to be also in a pretty spoopy area. I believe there's somebody we need to defeat down here as well. Um, but I think I need to go all the way over here. Got a fast travel point. But yes, you can go back to Norway whenever you want. We're going to have to go to Norway at some point for this as well. This is Winchester. We need to go directly that way. So we're just going to be... I just want to get out of this town. Oh! Light went out because of that fat drunk giant sat on the switch. <laughs> thank you for this. Thank you for Sports Star. How you doing? Elku, how you doing? DH, glad to see you here. We definitely won't, don't want to pick any fights with anybody here. This area is power level 340. Just quite a bit higher than us. Oh yeah, the map is bigger than Odyssey. It's massive. This is only one of the three maps that I currently have unlocked, and there's going to be more. Quite a few more. Is it worth 60? So the game to get through the story without doing any side quests is going to take you about 60 hours. That's doing no side quests. Or, um... That's no exploration, that's no collectibles. And so I think with the base game that's available right now, you'll get about 100 hours. Hey, maybe not 100 hours. I'd say probably about 70, 60 to 70 hours, depending on how yeah. quick you grind it. <laughs> Which is about double the average game that you spend $60 on. Granted, you know, there are various issues with the game and whatnot, but I've been just absolutely loving it. So my, my opinion is a bit biased at the moment because I do, I am actually quite fond of the game. Um, I wouldn't be playing it this much if I wasn't. I would If I didn't like it, I would have picked it up, played like three episodes of it and then been done with it. But I mean, I'm going out of my way to find rather difficult secrets. So well, one of my favorite things to do in any game. But yeah, for a full completionist playthrough, I'd say easily 100 plus hours.
Um, the new Spider-Man Miles Morales will get, I think, I think it's 20 hours long, which is pretty darn short. I think it might actually be less than that. But we'll complete that in a couple days, and then we'll still be playing this by the time we finish that. I'm not exactly 100% sure where this is, but I'm assuming that giant cave right there is what we're looking for. Just put that marker right where we needed to go. Nice. Yeah, how do you put your hood up? The game tells you how to. Your wings, uh, so yeah, we are going all the way to the bottom left corner of the map for this particular one. And we got to go right here. There's this cliff, and then we've got a cave in the cliff. I kind of want to unlock that fast travel point, too. Uh, but to, to put your hood up, you need to press down, or one of these stupid buttons. Yeah, down, and then you, the, the, you know, the cloak option. There you go. You can't do it until you, like, unlock it in the story, though. They'll tell you how to do it in the story. What I like about this is we're also getting skill points. Unlocking all this stuff. Oh, a boat, you say? Bodie McBoatface coming in hot. want to make sure we don't miss any opals under the water like we almost did last time. I don't think we were supposed to crash the boat that much. Music down here is so pretty too. Fabric, which I needed. Why do I feel like there's going to be like an alligator down here or something that's going to try and eat our face? Interesting. Ah, I see. Okay. Get up, Avor. Come on. We gotta climb up this somehow. I guess we gotta do it right there. There we go. Question is, do we go that way? Is it no? We're gonna go this way. I don't really care too much about all the iron. I got a ton of it and a ton of time farming up a bunch of stuff to upgrade all the equipment that we're gonna be getting over the next couple episodes. Hard car parkour in the caves, baby. Ooh, I thought we almost fell back down. Puzzles. Only a stout and fearless heart finds the scarlet robe. Darkness is your cloak, and light will be your shroud. Interesting. 
find, uh, finds the secret robe. Darkness is your cloak. And lights will be your shroud. Oh, oh Christ. Shit. Well, that's what that meant. <laughs> in other words, don't go in there with a freaking torch or you will torch yourself. I kind of assume that's what that meant, but we can't move either of those yet. Dude, I am covered in oil right now. And we need to blow up those two things. Can I just drop this without throwing it? Yeah, I am covered in oil. Should be lighting up on fire. Nice. Nailed it. I'm still scared to uh <laughs> to pull out a torch in here, I'm not gonna lie. I think there was more chests for us to collect in here too, weren't there? Oh, maybe not. Okay. That's why we couldn't push him. Wait, does this really not have an exit back here like all the other ones? Oh, it doesn't. Alright. Well, that's fine. Alright, so we gotta get to the next location, which I gotta grab on my screenshots here Let's see here so we took out not i don't want to go to there yet so we're gonna go to the next one which i believe where was it did we do this one already? Oh, there's one here that we need to go to. We'll do this one first. Wait, this is an Animal Crossing? It's Ultimate Animal Crossing. Assassin's Crossing. Oh, my body! My legs! Is that all food over there? If it is... Oh no, it's just all flowers. Boo! Get me excited thinking they were rations, man. Tag gets excited for rations nowadays. Yeah, we will be playing more Among Us later. I did a poll on Twitter today, and I believe Among Us probably ended up catching up and winning. Um, but I just really, really, really wanted to unlock Excalibur today. Oh, Aliaga, congrats on the red corgi. Hell yeah. You're telling me this isn't among us? Look at that lady in her fish basket.
for you, horse. There we go. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next tablet location. And there's food out here. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. That one, because we still need to get that. I am working in the Red Lichen Cave, painting our Saxon banners. Hmm. It was fun until I was covered in Red Lichen every night. This job is hell. I wish to be a true poet and run free, naked in the grasslands of Wexus until I die struck by lightning. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's for adrenaline. Ew. The Red Lichen Cavern. Get out of here, rats. Our bannermen have fallen. We need more banners. The Danes take them and use them as sails for their fast ships. Without banners, that smell of the cave's blessed Red Lichen, warriors are not as battle ready. It is the blood of Christ that curdles below the earth. And when it is on our banners, we take the heathens to war with the power of God. Brother working under the tutelage of St. Hedy's Coats? Interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is pretty weird. Alright. We've got all these ladders that lead to various nooks and crannies. GG Mary, thank you so much for the butt fruit. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really like these caves. They make me feel like I'm constantly gonna die, but I like them. It reminds me of um, Uncharted. I enjoy that. It smells like a trap. Oh god, it's gas. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have my torch out. I would have gotten exploded. But then I also wouldn't have gotten poisoned, so it's kind of like a lose-lose if you're not paying attention. You can actually throw your torch through it and you'll be fine. It looks like we can go that way. Curious what's left first. Oh my god, Tag, what are you doing with your life? Please don't spray through again. Gonna be a lot of this, isn't there? Abigail, thank you for the sassy lemon. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing a little bit better now. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us again. Ooh, what do we got here? A legend's mantle awaits you, but death is silent and hides in clouds. Only fire can cleanse. Yeah, it's gonna be all poison related from here. Cookies and Lynn, thank you so much for the uh for the super chats and the sassy lemon. Thank you very much. Need to be careful, Alright, we gotta time our way through here pretty good. We can get over this poison. There's an opal down there. That's why the poison was there. Is 
was going to say, because it definitely looks like we need to get up. So we need to get to right there, which is easy. Uh, Gen H, thank you for the sassy lemon. Shell, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. You wonderful Stop. humans. Something is not right. There's also another tunnel right there. <laughs> Realized? Heck, where the hell are you? Stop going up that way! Thank you. Boom, baby. We've got another tablet in the boots. At least I can do the lemon dance now. Oh, yeah. The mysterious mantle tablet. We've got all the lichen through here again. Is this like ringing us right back to the entrance? Ah, we wouldn't have been able to come up that way though. Nice! That one was probably the easiest to get to so far. Alright, now the next one we need to go to is... Did that one. Georgia G! Thank you for the sassy lemon! Thank you very much. Ah, this is in an area we have not yet been. Georgia, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So, we need to go... Where is this? I had it pinned earlier. It's in power level 340. You know what? I think I, we got this one already. Yeah, we did get that one already. Okay. Tony Rush, sweet baby Jesus. How you been, man? Thank you for the super chat. We got this one. So now we need to go back to Sussex, like. Yeah. All right. Tony, how you been? Glad to see you back, man. I hope you and the family are doing well. So we need to go right along the border. Looks like right about here. I don't have a fast travel point for that. The closest one I've got, probably right here. <clears throat> now here's a little something for the ice cream fun. Hope you and the family are keeping well. Tony, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you've been well. There it is. <laughs> Angie, what's going on? So let's just go ahead and remove all markers. We need to go like right about here. Emmy Lynn, thank you for the sassy lemon. Winry kind of lurking. Aw. Hashtag lurkers unite. Also, I do hope everybody's enjoying this live stream. If you are, make sure to slap that like button like it owes you money. I greatly appreciate the support. It helps out so much. Let's try and get the stream to a thousand likes. That way more people can see what we're doing. Unlock Excalibur if they so desire. And uh, get some really fancy things. Also, some skill points that we're going to have to spend here. Yango, thank you for the sassy lemon. Thank you. I've never been down to this area yet. Luciana, what's going on? Also, we have to go near Canterbury at some point, which is one of the few places in England I've actually been. Uh, DH, thank you for upgrading to a gold tier membership, you wonderful human. Thank you. That sounds like a sheep, and not a happy one. Does not sound like a happy sheep. I don't know if I want to find out what it's all about, though. I kind of do, though, at the same time. 
There was no Discord notification. Sounds about right. Lucian, I hope you've been well. Why are you guys trying to rickroll me right now? That's a fast travel point. We're going to go unlock that. The Vikings had a tradition where a child had to participate in a raid to become a full man. As they say, it takes a pillage to raise a child. Natalie, thank you for the... Uh, the game related dad joke. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. And for the pillaging fund. Look, Tom Davis and Natalie got the hive mind going today. Nice. Thank you both. Thank you so much. DH has got that sweet, sweet red corgi. Skill points, sweet. Oh boy. Just keep horsing along. No, 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 no. Look at them, sweet, sweet duck. At least those god rays are beautiful. Is this next gen? This is next gen in 10 years. <laughs> Hang on the PC. The 3090 4K on completely max settings. Come on, horse boy. Ooh, this is... I don't want to fight you guys. No. No, horse. Excalibur the best weapon in the game? Uh, I mean, it depends on what weapon you want to play with, obviously. Like, it could be the best sword in the game, but if you don't like using swords, then it's not going to be the best weapon for you. Uh, it is definitely a journey to get it, though. That is for sure. We're already halfway through, though. Which is good. Then we got to go to... Uh, we got to get two tablets in Norway, then we got to fight two dudes. I'm assuming it's this one that we got to go to. Ooh. I were a betting man. Oh, what kind of weird stuff we got going on over here? You will die and I will cry. It's not that one. We need to go to this one. Well, I do like me a good mystery. Yep, here we go. Alright. The next tablet all the way down in bottom of the map. Just the power 160, but as you can see, you don't really need the power. You just need to just not fight people and you'll be good to go. Location. Go. You got all sorts of Oh, don't freak out! I'm just here doing stuff, okay? Man, why are they so angry? <laughs> and now they're crying. He scared me. I pooed a little. He made big noise in cave. It was scary. Uh, I can see already that we got to do some blowing up of stiff.
that's a big old hole. The opals down there. What I like about this is we're also getting a lot of opals. Which we can use to get... So you have like all those fancy schmancy items that you can get from premium currency in the in the shop. But then you actually can purchase those by trading opals in the game, which I think is pretty cool. Guessing we gotta move that to get onto this ladder. A lot of stuff going on in this cave. Oh, is that a big freaking boulder right there? It is. Huh. Interesting. I'm assuming that throwing this isn't going to do anything. Probably have to move it from the other side. They like to hide those opals under all of this stuff. So if you're wondering why I'm constantly spamming that ability, that's why. where I just heard something. Uh, will you eventually show all the storyline playthrough? Yeah, yeah. Pretty, basically, every other episode is for our streams has been uh, story and then free roam exploration. Uh, so we're doing as much of both as possible. Obviously, at some point, we'll either have only story or only exploration left. But as long as we have both, I'm alternating between the two as much as possible. Ah, there is an item down there, which is giving us runes and stuff. There's no reason to not keep getting them at this point. Yeah, the light weapon rune. Caves are just so lucrative. Left or right? Left or right? Hopefully not left. Oh boy. Here we go. hope we went the right way. <laughs> oh, there was an item back there. Man. God, no. Ah. That's why you don't rush through the fire, ladies and gentlemen. Are you able to reuse runes? Yes, absolutely. To, call, uh, to claim the giant vessel, you must be as brave as he. Plunge like salmon, where iron thrives, and hold that which gives you life. It holds your breath? Interesting. Dive where iron thrives, and then hold your breath. An opal over here. Let's 
clearly a cavern here. Okay, so there's the iron there. Lots more iron. Oh, Christ. There's a lot of people that died trying to do this. That dude made it a lot farther than all the rest. <laughs> and he had a loot on him. I think we made it. Oh, the dude was like clutching the tablet with him when he died and we got dried bread. Lachy mine. We got some explodey bombs up here, which leads me to believe with an additional secret that might need to be exploded up here. Like there, you never find explodey bombs without something to explode. I don't think that actually goes farther back, but. PG tag. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, there it is right there. Oh my god. Oh no. Fire. Oh, stupid rock. Sandrasa. <laughs> How are you doing? Alright, so we got this one and we're back at the beginning. There's ooh, there's an opal down there. That's worth stopping to get. I'll take that. Okay. Let's see where the next location is. Next up, I believe. Where is this? The Cavern of Trials. And that is definitely in Norway. Then we have to defeat people. So we got to go to Norway now. Should have gotten a fast travel point while I was there in retrospect. Activate our skills too. So I've been trying to figure out where I want to go from here with the skills. I grabbed a brush with death. Predator. Predator. <laughs> uh, curious what goes up that way. I think I was trying to get stealth adrenaline. While in stealth, gain adrenaline by looting a chest or pickpocketing in a restricted area. 
I guess. I'm down here anyways. And then bow stun finisher. I guess we can try and see what that's all about. Where I want to get it, but I may wait until Black Friday. I mean... Might not be a bad idea. Alright, so this area on the map... Power level 100... And, or 130... And cent? I don't even know where that is. 280... Alright, so we'll go for one of the other ones, because I know where those other ones are already. Just did. Actually. Is there more of this map that we need to unlock? Or is there another map that we need to unlock? I don't think I have either of these. Hold on. You know what? These locations might actually be in uh, Asgard. We might actually have to go to Asgard. Would you unlock with the Seer? Oh, actually, no, it's right here. I think. Yep, it's up here. Okay, so we gotta go... right around here. Along this? Some of these locations are a little difficult to find on the map. I think it's actually right about here. We gotta take Bodie McBoatface up there. Good old Bodie McBoatface! Most powerful of boats. Oh, Gustav. Good lord. I haven't had any issues like that. Oh, well, hello to you. As well. Oh, poor Corinne. <laughs> What does everybody think of the game so far? A lot of you have been asking me about what I think about the game. It's a fair question. But um, I am curious about uh, what everybody else has been thinking. Those that have played it, those that have been watching the gameplay. What do you what do you think of the game so far? What do you think of the live streams and stuff? Would it be Bodie McBoat butt? Oh my god, a sports star. Save it for later. <laughs> sure. What's that? Barracks of some kind? It does indeed have a boat butt. Hush now. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm playing on PC with an Xbox controller. Using a keyboard for these kind of games is just AIDS. Oh, get out of the way, fishing dude! Are you serious? Oh my god. 
Let the sail out. See you go. <laughs> I played 12 hours straight. Midnight upon release to noon. Nice. The way to do it right there. Let's go hard. I think you've caught up to my amount of time played so far already. Where do Vikings keep their babies? In the nursery. Nailed it! Ginger, thank you for the super chat, you wonderful human. Uh, so I will be release, uh, announcing the winner for the PS5 on the 12th as well. I should have uh, both the giveaway and my personal one on the 12th, which I'm excited about. Wasn't sure if uh, the giveaway one was going to come right on the day of release, but I think so far it is. Unless something horrible happens between now and then. I think we need to go here. I love that we get back into like the the snowy areas as we go farther up in England. Get out of here, squirrels. What do you think you're doing? I'm assuming this path leads right to a cavern of some sort. And I would be correct. God, I cannot wait to get the Excalibur. Super excited for it. And the crazy thing is you can get all these things at the beginning of the game. All right, so for those that just need the location, we are in Northumbria. And we're going to go right here to the Wiccan's Cave. Love the Viking eye candy and amazing graphics and sounds. Winry, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you so much. I'm actually super glad that the, uh, that the whole community that we kind of grew from Animal Crossing is enjoying all the new games as well. I was genuinely nervous about transitioning from Animal Crossing into literally anything other than Nintendo games. Oh... This doesn't seem like a place I quite frankly want to be. Either somebody's here murdering people or there's like a bear or something. That dude had a freaking empty box. I swear to God. What the hell is living in this cave for all these skulls? Oh. Okay. You have a tree growing in here? Riddle me curious. Oh, there's a dead dude right there, too. Something horrible gonna happen. Oh, this is a recent death. What? There's an opal right there. Okay. That dude had a bad day. Extra Life winners will be announced on the 12th. What is going on in this cave? Oh, I didn't want to jump down. Ew. I'm thinking... But where we need to go in here. So there's that ledge there, but I don't see where that goes to. It must just be... Can I climb up on that branch? No. I guess we just gotta climb up this. I mean, I've never played these games, but I enjoy your streams and this community. Thank you so much, Ella. Thank you. And everybody, thank you. Came here for Subnautica, been here ever since. That's way back in the day. Hell yeah. I actually wanted to... There was a new update for the new Subnautica that released, I think it was like a week or two ago. That was a fun series that I did too. So there's the item that we need. 
Stop climbing wherever the hell you want, dude. What are you doing? Oh, what? The climbing can just be unwieldy at times. Let me guess. More empty boxes? No? Okay. Hope Smith, thank you for the sassy lemon. Oh. Oh, there's a fire in here and everything? What was that? Oh, titanium. Nice. That dude had a bad day. Witch's curse. A, pex a hex upon thee, ye who spit at me. May your bones turn to stone. May your hunger never cease. May your heart turn to bone. May your blood run to the sea. Till the horns sound upon the last day. So I curse thee, and so it be. Intriguing. That's where we need to go for that, but it looks like there might be something through here as well. Yeah. Probably another opal in here, too. Oh, yeah, the, all the runes that you collect throughout the game can be reused as you play. You can always unsocket them and put them into other gear. Interesting. A bounteous feast awaits the bold. Unfaltering step beware, foul, foul. And beast revenge is the dish they serve. Bounteous feast awaits the bold. Unfaltering step beware, foul, foul. And beast revenge is the dish they serve. I found you through Animal Crossing, but I reignited my love for video games through watching you all. Jen, I'm so happy. That is awesome. I suck at them. My PC is crap, but I'm having so much fun. Hell yeah. I'm gonna do another PC giveaway soon. A Gen H, thank you for the... Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. You wanna go, bacon boys? Oh, those are some powerful bacons. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Hello, chickens. Are you friend or foe? I believe the chickens are friend. The bacons we don't want to go near. <laughs> oh god Don Hufford, thank you for becoming a gold tier member Thank you so much So I think we need to go into the Bacon Bros area. I can't see the door to break down the latch. I don't see how that one is over there is going to get me to see it either. Apollo Rose, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Ginger, thank you so much for the super chat. Stayed for you in the community. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't want to mess with the Bacons. other bacon. I know you're like the lord of bacon and whatnot, but... Bacon bro! Oh! Bacon 
bro's back. That might have not have been so bad to kill uh, without the abilities. But I just didn't want to risk it, you know? Oh, yep, we can't see it from here. Nice. Perfect. Boom, baby. One more tablet down. And another skill point. This next area. Lincolnshire is here. It's at the end of a river. Super chat $5. Tag getting his butt kicked by chickens. Priceless. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> I'm glad my suffering entertains you. We gotta figure out where this is. I believe it is right around here where this opal is. Which is actually pretty close to where we are. That means we just gotta get out of this cave real quick, like. If there is a real quick, quick like, way out of here. Michelle, thank you so much for the super chat, you wonderful human. That my suffering provides you entertainment. Weird that the sound breaks in there. All throughout here, in fact. This game looks huge. Oh god, yeah, you have no idea. No idea. It's bigger than everyone even knows. And it's only going to get substantially bigger. Uh, that's what he said. Ooh, oh, pretty. to the tablets do we need all of these tablets to unlock excalibur so for those that are joining right now uh, we have not unlocked excalibur everything that we have done in this live stream so far is for the end goal of unlocking excalibur you need 11 tablets and they all go into a secret cave location that we're going to go to at the end of the live stream um so after we acquire this tablet we have one more uh, my mystery area and then we got to battle four people and then we'll be able to unlock Excalibur. Yeah. Pretty up here. That many games do snow really well, but man. I get this game to come play as a girl. That is technically the canon, or the canon, <laughs> of the canonically way to play. Canonically, right? I'm like that. Playing as the female is canon. Kukos can be found in all words. They're gods. Oh my god. Ginger, thank you for the super chat. How is PC optimization just as bad as every other uh, Ubisoft game? I mean, it uses all the same engine still, so. Until they change engines and fix, like, all the glitches that have been around in their games for a while, I don't see it getting much better. I, I have a 3090 and just barely get over 60 FPS on Ultra. I don't know if we aren't in exactly the right location but yet. I gotta get way over there. interdimensional beings. Yes. Andra was canon in Odyssey too, right? Yes. Yes, she was. I do kind of like the idea of just letting the game choose um, 
whether to be the the female Eivor or the male Eivor. I do like that idea a lot. I'm not playing that way, obviously, just because I like continuity. But it is very intriguing prospect to play that way. Uh, Pixel, glad you're enjoying it, man. Thank you for the support. We have found Le Cave. After this one is going to start being where things get difficult to unlock Excalibur. You will need a decent power level to achieve it. All right. This one is, once again, it's in Snottinghamshire, west of Northumbria. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> in the Spar Cavern, north of the Dangly Bit River. Where is this? Did you not listen to anything I just said, TG? We are working on unlocking Excalibur right now. It's a bit of a process. It is one of the best weapons you can get in the game, so it's not going to just be handed to you. We have to unlock it. You know, these rocks look different, but I bet they're just going to give us the same stuff as everything else, right? Just some iron? Yeah. Well, boo. see anything up here other than another rock <laughs> there's a key over here oh wow we didn't have to go through a massive cave to find this one usually we have a giant cave to go through this is just like right here which means either the puzzle is going to be very difficult or this is just the, one of the easiest ones to do. To find the black keener, be sure-footed as a mountain goat. First blood means final breath to those who test your metal. Oh boy. We're gonna save. <laughs> this basically just said if we mess up once, we die. So, that's cool. Um... I'm gonna make a new save game. Just in case. Be as sure footed as a mountain goat, is what it said. First mistake is death. Oh, and I can see why. All right. So many resources here, too, in these caverns. I'm not very mountain goat esque, you know? I feel like being a mountain goat isn't for me. There's no way we can jump across that, right? Can we? Can't go that way. So the only way I see forward at the moment is straight across. Whew. That made me pucker a little bit, I'm not going to lie. The Picts and the Danes fight fiercely in these lands, and we are caught between them. Our efforts cannot cease. We must continue to honor our Roman ancestors and protect the treasures that rest here in their name. Remember, their bloods run through these lands. Are you freaking serious, game? Why would I want to jump down? Why would I want to jump that way? Go up, you dirty little Dane. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, buddy. I feel like there should be something down there, but I guess there isn't. I'm just going to jump on it. Yep. I am the mountain goat. Believe you are the mountain goat, for that is the only way to success. There 
is something in there, but it's not something we can collect. I'm assuming I need to jump across? Unless I'm supposed to... Go up, then over. I want to jump to that spike, but at the same time, like, I don't. <laughs> I want to go down here. Instead of up. It really doesn't want me to go that way, huh? Oh. That tickle. Oh, there's the item. Wait, there's a chest over here. Why did you jump so far? Stop! What? This game can eat a pile of nuts. And not the kind of nuts that they want to eat, alright? Why would I jump 10 million feet? Played in the NBA. You do that in a less jumpy, crazy way? We made it, baby! If a brave man sharpened his sword on the whetstone, then the sword would kill any man from whom it drew blood. If a cowardly man used the whetstone, his sword would fail him and refuse to draw blood at all. <laughs> Interesting. I hear the sound of another collectible in here somewhere. What is with all the old pillows we keep finding? I think it's just remnants of the item we collected. Yeah, it is. Alright. Come on. Perfect. Okay, so we've got one more item, then we gotta fight three dudes? Three dudes. Check our inventory. How many of these bad boys have we gotten? We've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yes, so we need one more and then fight three dudes. The item we need is this one. Is in Scent? Kent? In Kent. Never been to Kent. Where is it? That's down here. Oh, that's Canterbury that we need to go to. So we gotta go probably right about here. Yeah, it's right here. Antibury Kent means fast travel points. What's our closest fast travel point to that? I knew I should have picked up more. I knew it. It's gonna be here. Chloe, how are you doing? Glad to see you here. You're late! All right. Better late than never, they say. I think I see Dover. 
Do we need to go straight that way? There's a gate right down here that we can go out. Did you get the opals to show up on your map? There is a, um, there is a map that, oh, my butt. There's a map you can buy that unlocks various icons on your map. Uh, so I got that because I wanted to be able to show you all the locations for things. Come on, horse. Dude, what are you doing? Go. You're a horse. You can do this. It's a hill. I know you're not like a billy goat or something, but good God. How did that not kill you? I have no idea. <laughs> it had every right to kill me from jumping from that far up. These deer sound way too much like bears, and I don't like it. Every time I hear a deer, I always think it's a bear and I'm going to die. Speak of the devil? Abigail, glad to see you're still with us. I run through some more... Oh, um, I'm going to assume horse boy does not want to swim across the ocean. That sound almost human, but gods. That's interesting. Is there some kind of war pig you can ride? I wish. Do you change your bird and horse skin? You gotta unlock the the stables so you can do that. It's in your settlement. But until you get your settlement and upgrade the stables, you will not be able to. Ah, we have made it. Whoop! <laughs> Stupid bird. We've made it to Kent. Music here is nice. Really don't want to run all the way across Go. this. Are there Templars in this? Um, so there's zealots in this. Which are similar to what you would encounter as Templars in other games. Uh, we're gonna have to kill three of them immediately after finding this tablet. Ooh, that's a big boy right there. Avoid him. What did I miss? Paps, you've missed everything. We have not gotten Excalibur yet, so you have not missed that at the very least. Uh, we are getting our 10th of... Or no, we are getting our 8th of the 11 tablets that we need to unlock Excalibur. And we're going to fight three dudes and hopefully get the last three. Area is so pretty. I'm assuming the entrance is in that Colosseum. Ah, uh, yes, Canterbury. Ah, oh, we can lure drunks. One of the few places. 
may have actually been. Assuming it's... Stop climbing everything, you asshat! Jesus Christ. I've always hated that in the Assassin's Creed games. Like, I'ma do this! I'ma do this real bad. Ooh, that's a big old shield boy. areas the entrance to our cave this is not it you know what i think we need to be more up here yeah we need to be like over here I need to get the hell out of here. This is the opposite of the area we want to be in right now. We definitely don't want to be near the freaking barracks of all places. Star Asshat. My boss's new name, Sir Asshat. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Is it possible to get Thor's armor set early on? Um, I would say you probably could if you were extremely good at the combat and never getting hit. Because you do have to defeat some rather difficult bosses to acquire Thor's armor. Uh, I'm going to be going through those fights and seeing how low my armor score or my, my power score can be and still be able to defeat it. I think we need to go over here. In, in this house? The Cavern of Trials, huh? Where's the entrance? Ah, there it is. Alright, so the Cavern of Trials. Right here. All the way in Canterbury. Uh, just east of Canterbury, Kent. Apparently inside of a house. I did not anticipate that. We do want to fall down. Only the one balanced in their emotions, agile in their moves, careful in their decisions, and smart in their choices will be able to pass the Cavern of Trials. Well, we know already that that's not us. Not me. E down there. There's a key right there. Intriguing. Hmm. Ah, Let's see. Am I on fire? Oh, that's my arrows that are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I assume that key we're going to get later. Uh, it does show a key that we need to get over there. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Door there. Oh my god. 
these caverns are all over the place. Oh wait, there was a fragment right there? What was that? It must have been an opal or something. I don't know what that was. Weed. What is this? Oh, is it going to have me jump from that? It is. I think that's exactly what it wants me to do. I should get this to the sea. Yep, it wants me to jump from here and then over to that and grab it during the jump. Alright, the key of balance. Huh. These are fun. I like this. And we gotta get the key that's down there. I assume whatever key is in here, too? Interesting. That was close. Controller is vibrating like crazy over here. What is this? of agility. Nice. I believe that is all the keys we needed. Alright. There's a locked door down here. And another key. Oh my god, there's so many keys. Got arrows for this one. I can only assume since it gave us a buttload of arrows that we are going to need them. Yep. I'm gonna grab the rest of those. Actually, I'm maxed out on arrows. Never mind. I want to be collecting all of the, uh, the other things, but at the same time, I don't want to take too much longer to get all this stuff. The key of dexterity. Peace. I can only assume that that is all the keys that we needed. Unlock the door. Perfect. Nickel ingot, nice. Let's get you to 
Another opal, which was great. Where the hell's the tablet? Yeah, you definitely have to earn Excabler. Uh, Excabler. <laughs> you definitely have to earn Excalibur in this one. Like all the little trials that you're having to do. And then we got to take out some powerful dudes here after this. One more enigma to unravel. Strategy is needed to find the fair maid's game. Follow in the footsteps of the night. Your path is set in stone. Follow the path of the knights. Your footsteps are set in stone. D. So it wants us to move these around to... How was that? Am I hearing things? I definitely thought I heard somebody talk. There's a key over there. And we needed to move these stones... I think it's a frog or something. making all this noise in this cavern. Sounds like some dude just going, God, I hate this movement of these blocks. Oops. How far into the game am I? Not very. You can get the, you can do all this at the beginning of the game. Uh, aside from maybe killing the final three guys, uh, which are power level like in the 120s. Um, but if you can, if you're good at the combat and don't take damage, then you can pretty much do this whenever. I'm going to show like a pretty good hack for killing these dudes. It's one pacif Pacific. It's one specific skill that you can spec into that makes doing all of this substantially easier. We got our tablet. We got the key. Uh, but yeah, there's one skill that is super good for taking out these guys. And uh, we gotta go take out the first one. There's another opal down here we gotta grab. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's titanium. Sweet. Uh, so the skill that you're gonna want to take out these higher level... Not backstab. These higher level ones is actually missile reversal. If you kite them, they'll start throwing these spears at you. And then you can catch the spear and chuck it back at them and deal a ton of damage. Uh, so if you go down, you can go either through either trees to get down here at the bottom. But it is so good. So stupidly good. All right, so we need to defeat Ike. Who is in Essex. And he patrols around the same area. So we're going to have to find him. Actually, before we go... Eh, yeah. He's gonna be right around here. That's where we need to go. Now, he is power level 160, whereas we are uh, power level like 67 or whatever we are. I, I didn't pay attention when I just saw it. I was literally right on that screen. Need to go here. He's going to patrol that road. I need to get some rations, and I highly recommend as your first upgrades, 
Uh, maybe upgrading rations and arrows. They both come in extremely handy. Especially if you're trying to do some of this higher level stuff early on. I don't think we're going to get many rations in here, though. Oh, next to you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for the support. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying this video and it's helping you get uh, a pretty awesome weapon in the game, please feel free to hit that like button. It only takes a second and it really helps out the content. I'm trying my best to break into covering Assassin's Creed content. Um, and whenever you're transitioning to new types of games, uh, the engagement helps out more than ever before. So if you get this video to over a thousand likes, I greatly appreciate it. It'll help out on. We can on oh, we're power level 75 now, so I'm trying to figure out where I want to spec into next. Self adrenaline. Uh boast on finisher is where I was going for next. Something that I grabbed that I don't necessarily need for this fight. This How do you get into this high-level mission so quickly? Watch the watch the stream. Uh, watch it from the beginning. I you just need it's all collectibles, so it's not a mission. This is why this is all spoiler-free. It's not a mission. It is just side content. Uh, it's all collectibles and then items that you get from defeating three things. So you need eleven total tablets. We have collected eight of said tablets, and we need to go get the last three, which are collected from killing um, zealots. Right now, we're looking for a specific Zealot. He's going to be the most difficult one that we need to defeat. So if we can defeat this guy, we'll be able to defeat all the ones that we need to. Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. Oh, yeah. We got a cursed area over here. I just ate poison, didn't I? Whoops. Where the hell is it? There it is. No? It's up there. I shouldn't have to waste all these arrows right now. I'm gonna need them. What the hell am I shooting up there? I can see it. There we go. Lots of dudes died here. Eat destroying angel. That doesn't sound like a good idea. And I ate one anyways. Those areas are just creepy. Exactly what they're meant to be. And so this zealot patrols this road. 
pig pig over there attacking some oh there he is dude and he's got a pig friend I want to make sure I'm at full health before I try and fight this dude. He is way higher level than us. There's just pigs all over the place here. Oh, bacon! Oh, the bacon power! High-level bacon's coming in hot. Ugh. Bacon, I don't want to fight. Please leave me alone. <laughs> the world's angriest bacon's. How is there no food anywhere? Oh. There's dudes fighting bacons, though. We need to fight this guy off the road, or we're going to aggro a bunch of other things that we don't want to fight either. This one's going to be pretty difficult, I think, actually. just so much garbage here. The dude I want to fight has disappeared. This forest sucks. Where the hell did he go? He was just right here. That's not him. Either is somewhere in the woods where he patrols really quick. He was literally right over here before that bacon attacked us. Did he go? Yeah, he was killing bacons, but I don't see him now. Pigna forest? Is it because it's full of pigs? <laughs> Are they mad at me? They're mad at me. Oh. Oh. 
Dude. Dude, why are you so mad at me? Horse, could you run? You're a freaking horse. You piece of garbage horse. I hate you so much. I hope you drown. The Bacons might have killed him. How convenient would that be? Oh, this dude really wants to go. Okay. Really? I mean, if I can't kill him, then I'm not going to be able to kill anybody, so... Daggers are so good, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Sucks to be you. You shouldn't have followed me across the river, you prick. Sucks to suck, homie. <laughs> Serpentine. exactly oh there's a whole bunch of wolves over here i'm just looking for some freaking rations i run across berries all day when i don't need them and then when i do the game's like nah bro There's an artifact right in there that I should probably grab while I'm here. The hell just aggroed me. Oh! Freaking bacon. You dirty little baby. Oh, God. Stupid bacons. He's found a berry bush. Hoping to get one more level of rations. I think that. That's not him. He's definitely gonna be along this road. Maybe the bacon somehow did kill him. Imagine that. Being a zealot and then getting killed by a rogue bacon. be embarrassing. Whoops. Just stomp the rabbit. I mean, yeah, he's going to be literally supposed to be like right around here. I guess we're just going to run along the road. He will have an icon over his head. I swear to God, if the Bacons killed him and glitched it out, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, there he is. Oh, his power is 250? 
Okay, that was... That's a lot higher level than I thought. Where'd he go? Really? All the other dudes will follow you till the end of the earth, and this guy just gave up? Come on, bro. You were way higher level than me, it's okay. Whoa! He's got a freaking wolf? That's how we're gonna take him out. Oh, Jesus. Is that high level or that skill? does a ton, ton of damage. So literally, if you're really low level and you want to take these guys out, just get that skill. When you chuck something at you, chuck it back. And that's literally all you need to do to take these guys out. Other than maybe like uh, using an ability or something like that just to shoot a lot of arrows at them. Whoops, I missed. You got to time it right and not get hit by it. Did he just heal himself? Oh, what a dick. Oh. All right. We got poison gas, too. He fully healed. Are you serious? He lost me with his own smoke bomb. All right, we'll try and fight him as we would typically. Oh, he just poisoned his sword. Oh, what the hell is this? You have got to be kidding me. Freaking photo mode? How the hell did that happen? Poison sucks. Are you serious? This guy being able to heal himself sucks. My God. We basically got to take him out quick or he's going to heal himself every time. I was in the middle of an ability. 250 tags favorite number. <laughs> I kind of wanted to die on that one because now that I know his moveset, I know how to fight him better. But I had already used all of my stuff on the uh, learning the fight. Sweet. Perfect. That's a good area to fight him in at least. Dude, where are you going, bro? So what I'm curious about 
this piece of garbage dog. No, don't waste the time killing it. You're going to get hit again. Stupid game. Okay, so he's poisoned his weapon. What I want to find out is if we stay at distance from... Are you serious? Again, with the damn dogs. Stupid frick. my last arrow. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, big boy. Jesus. Your time has expired. All right, so you can you can you can hit him out of his uh his healing. You just gotta hit him once. Assuming we can do a couple different ways. Get up. Oh boy. Oh my god. What I want him to do is I just want him to throw stuff at me now. Cuz I don't have any healing stuff. That was a good plan for a second. Oh! Oh, we had him! I didn't have any arrows to shoot him. I'm gonna save my arrows for the end. We had him. I dodged that. I could have swore I did. If we can defeat this one, then we can defeat all the rest. This is the highest level that they're going to get for us. Want to get him aggroed without aggroing the wolves. The wolves is what Fs us up at the beginning.
want to know what triggers his healing. If we can predict when he's going to activate the healing, then it should be easy to kill. Especially if we are able to do that a lot. But basically, get him to throw it, get up close to him as he gets up, and then kite him again, and that way you can... get to him if he decides to try and heal again. Jesus, that did a lot of damage. God, he does it... Healing is what sucks, because he does it after he throws one of those stupid balls. And then you can't run through the poison or you'll get poisoned. I like this guy. He's cool. He's way more difficult than the other ones we've encountered so far. Mainly due to the healing. Do not want to get poisoned. Oh. dodging. Ooh, that was close. Shoot. Healing sucks. Oh, he threw two. What? Oh, really? I got stabbed in the butt and that's what kills me. I've got an idea for when he throws his gas bombs. You prick. Where were you throwing that? Come on. What? Stupid piece of garbage. I was so far away.
Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to happen, happen at all. What? Oh, that doesn't work. Son of a... That was a waste. How did he hit me with that? Why does he keep getting thrown backwards? I need him to come to me. Come on. I hate wings that heal. It takes all the fun out of the fight. Especially when they can just keep healing. I was going to kill this guy, but it's just taking too long. And we've already gone a half an hour over the the amount of time that we should be streaming. Um, I don't have to kill this guy, but we just don't have time. I didn't anticipate it taking this long. If he didn't heal, we would have had this dead like 10 times over already. I'm not getting the slow motion activation. Why? Oh, I'm out of stamina. All right. Um. Anyways. Yeah, we're already a half an hour over how long we're supposed to stream. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, but I do hope everybody had a wonderful day. They're hard to fight. Well, they're not hard to fight. It's only hard because I'm fighting them at... Power level two or sixty-seven, and he's level two fifty. Um, but I'll have him dead. I just we've been streaming too long. I gotta stop because YouTube is already not gonna process this video properly. Yeah, so it's a it was seventy-five versus two fifty. That we're doing pretty good. Uh, but anyways, I do hope you all have a wonderful night.